Greeting guys and gals from the Arctic Pepper Lab. Today is going to be a pod review. I do have a little habanero. Uh, the seeds for this plant were given to me by um, Richard Bourne. The plant is that one right there. There's a couple ripe pods on it. Uh, I have already cut this one in half. So I will just show you what it looks like. There's a bit of placental tissue in there. And some seeds. Here is the other half. Uh, like I said, a few seeds did fall out. They are right down meow. So I uh, am sending some seeds out to some friends, so that'll get included in one of the uh, one of the seed packs. Some some fresh yellow habanero. Um, yeah, so, not much else to do but eat. Oh no, I'm dropping it. Okay, let's see if I can hold it better. There we go. Alright, so, let's have at her, huh? Mmm. Mmm. camera didn't do it justice there was lots of seeds in there um <clears throat> the flavors on point uh it's habanero it's spicy and some pepper stuck in my teeth uh yeah it's it tastes like a habanero <laughs> um not bad actually it was like it's, it's strange. It was a little bit sweet. Um, I did have one pot off of this plant earlier and, uh, it, it was, uh, like one of those, one of those pods, like, you know how usually your first pod that turns ripe is like one of those tiny little itty bitty ones. And I tried that one and that had zero heat, like nothing. Uh, and it was like super sweet. It was really nice, actually. If uh, if that was a sweet pepper, it would have been really good. Like it was, it was very, very sweet. Uh, but uh, this one is habanero. It's spicy. Um, let's talk about the heat. Uh, it's burning on my tongue. A little bit on the roof of my mouth. I mean, compared to the butch tea that I had, and the uh, um, the white devil's tongue. This is nothing. Jeez, I almost feel like it's not worth videotaping. Uh, but I digress. There's a couple things I wanted to talk about anyways. <clears throat> uh, so, I've taken the day off of work on Monday, and I want to go fishing. So I'm going to go ice fishing, and I was wondering if there was any interest from the people who are viewing my channel, if they want to see um, like footage of that. Uh, I'm going to be going for perch. Uh, there's, uh, wow, I gotta stop saying, uh, so much, but, uh, there's a spot, uh, where there's a lot of, uh, little, little weeds and stuff, and it's great for perch, and it's like this little strip on the ice, so what we plan on doing is going there and jigging with some maggots, and, uh, we will have, uh, tip-ups set up further away, like further out from the weed bed so that we can, uh, you know, go for a quick run to catch our pike. That lake has yellow perch, pike, whitefish, burbot. You guys saw the burbot that I caught last time there. And yeah, it's one of my favorite places to go fishing, uh, in the winter anyways. It's, um, it's fun. It's good. I like it. So... Sorry that I haven't been putting out nearly as many videos as you guys want. A couple people have uh, called me out on the PLC community saying, Hey man, where's where's all the videos? Why don't you have videos? <clears throat> I'm a busy guy. I have a full-time job and that job is actually really demanding. It takes a ton of my time. 
And I'm also getting married, if anybody didn't know. I'm not married yet. I have a ring on my middle finger, but not on the correct one. We actually went ring shopping today, and I found an awesome wedding ring. I'm super stoked to show it to you guys. Unfortunately, what they had there was their brass, uh, was a brass one, and so they had to send out for it. I'm getting married um, uh, February 24th, so, or 25th, whichever one the Saturday is, I'll have to look that up, but um, I digress. I've been busy with, with the fiance, I've been busy with work, I've been busy fishing, trying to find personal time. Um, as for this account, my plan, like my goal is to put out a video every three days. That's kind of what I'm going for. Obviously, this isn't my job. My channel is tiny at this point. I do have 95 subscribers, which by the way, I forgot to talk about that during my last video. I've reached 95 subscribers. And to a lot of the guys who are out there on YouTube, they're like, 95 subscribers, whatever. But to me, that's awesome. That is totally awesome. Because I'm just doing this as a hobby, and I'm just having fun with it. And to have 95 subscribers, 95 people that tune in to me to see what's going on in my life is awesome. It's a great feeling. It's great. So, thanks. Thanks, guys. <clears throat> uh, back to the pepper. The heat is almost gone. You know, the, the habanero used to be the hottest pepper in the world. Um, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's done. Like, I still have a little bit of burning on the top of my tongue, but I was... I say it every time I do a pod review. I was expecting much worse. I know that when I get to the chocolate bootla, right there... That's when I'm gonna have a hard time. That's when I'm when I'm gonna be dying on camera. And I know you guys are just waiting for that moment when I when I'm sitting here and I got snot coming down my nose and smoke coming out of my ears, tears running down my face. But it hasn't happened yet. <laughs> That's about as cocky as I could possibly look. Anyways, I uh, just wanted to put up a quick video. I want to ask you guys about the ice fishing thing. Uh, fishing is one of my one of my big hobbies. I have three hobbies, um, which are uh, carving and fishing, and of course, growing peppers. I have had some germination problems, by the way. The uh, my germination, like the seventy two peppers that I did like a month and a half ago, man, I've only gotten like 10 of them, 10 out of 72. Uh, that's disappointing. It's very, very, very disappointing. Uh, so I'm going to have to redo it. Unfortunately, I won't be as, uh, you know, as good as I wanted to be, like, I mean, obviously the plants won't be as big as I wanted them to be by summer, but I mean, like, if you guys take a look behind me here, I got a lot going on. There's lots going on in the Arctic Pepper Lab here. I still have room in my tent. I still have an east-facing window uh, that I can put stuff in as well. My next video, I I don't know, could be many things. Could be the ice fishing one, guys. Let me know, yes or no. I really, really want to know, so just chime in. Um, because if fishing is a big thing, uh, like if people want to see it, then I most definitely can film that stuff because I go fishing quite a bit. Uh, going back to uh, talking, it still bur it still burns, but it's like a mild burn. It's a mild burn on top of my tongue. Anyways, uh, moving back to uh, what I was talking about with my hobbies, I do some wood carving, and I am an amateur at that. If you guys couldn't tell, I am an amateur at growing peppers as well. I only started this a year ago. I started growing peppers a year ago, so... And I mean, to be perfectly honest, most of my knowledge has come from the PLC community and guys like Charles Polk 
and guys like, um, uh, uh, wow, running into problems with my brain, but, um, sorry, guys like Richard Bourne, um, Jesus Rosario, etc., etc., I mean, um, just just great people who've really helped me to be able to grow. Like I said, I'm a novice at the wood carving thing. Sorry, I, I, I meander when I talk. Uh, I'm a novice at the wood carving thing, but one project that I was thinking about doing, since I've done sauce reviews in the past, I have a couple more sauce reviews coming up, by the way, guys. Um, I was thinking of carving a sauce review spoon. So carving a little spoon that I could use for the sauce review could be kind of cool, right? Right? I don't know. Maybe I'm getting nerdy. <laughs> well, whatever. It's it's the fun things that we do that makes life worth living. Speaking of me being a novice, if you look up over right, yeah, that leaf is having a hard time behind me kind of hidden you guys can't see it very well but uh the the um the habanero plant the, from the with one of the pods that i just ate has a lot of yellowing leaves i um i got busy wasn't able to water my stuff correctly and some of my plants have suffered as a result um rev actually recommended that i start um depriving them of water to make the peppers hotter and uh, I did try that with my Chinese five color. And um, when I do my next review, you guys may see that I stressed that plant out a little bit too much. I deprived of, of water and then um, watered it and it never came back. <laughs> so that's okay. The Chinese five color, to be perfectly honest, is a lame pepper. I'm not a big fan of it. It's okay. It's not very hot. It, it looks really pretty. Like, it is an ornamental pepper. I get that. But, I mean, obviously, there's not much flavor. It's not very hot. Uh, the peppers are actually kind of small. I like to have bigger peppers so that I can make sauces out of them and stuff. My, my, my main reason for growing peppers, other than fun, is to make sauces. So... Uh, also, could do a video on uh, making sauces. Anyways, this 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 show has gone on to 13 minutes, so I'm gonna let you guys go. Hope you guys are having a good day. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Have a great day, guys. Bye bye.